This step-by-step -step guide is provided to help you navigate the MCR demo or trainee self-assessment demo that are now available through your ISCP user account. Please note this is only a demo and any data generated through this process will not be saved on the ISCP system or impact trainee portfolios. The MCR demo works best on the most recent versions of the following browsers Google Chrome, Firefox or Microsoft Edge. Please make sure your browser is up to date. Also, please make sure you disable any ad blocker add-ons before using the online MCR form. Please also make sure that you've already watched our videos on generic professional capabilities, capabilities in practice, an introduction to the MCR. So the first thing to do is to go to iscp.ac.uk and log in. Once you've done this, at the top, change the URL from iscp.ac.uk forward slash mcr. Press return. If you're an AES, CS or TPD, you can select your trainees allocated to you in these roles and select the trainee you want to create a report for, then click Create MCR. On the first page you will access the Generic Professional Capabilities. There are nine of these in total. If you're not familiar with these, please now go and have a look our video on introduction to the generic professional capabilities. For each generic professional capability appropriate for stage is a default setting. You can alternatively select areas for development if you think that there are any. If you select areas for development then feedback is required. You can add free text in the comments box. You can also select descriptors from the descriptor box. These descriptors are those written by the GMC for each generic professional capability area. You might find it helpful to use the GMC approved language to describe the area for development. The GMC describe a lot of descriptors for each of the areas and we don't expect you to know all of them. Equally you don't have to comment on all of them and only flag up those where development is required in the next three to six months of training. To help you find the phrase that best describes the area for development you can filter the descriptors by typing in the search box at the top of the pop-up box as shown. For instance if you think that time management needs to be developed you can type time in here and a descriptor concerning managing time and resources effectively will appear. Select the exclamation mark symbol if you wish to add this descriptor to the areas for development on the MCR in the relevant GCP area. To go back to the main form either click on the X or just click off to the side. You can see that the areas for development have now been recorded on the form. You can select areas of development from any of the nine generic professional capabilities. You only need to select areas for development if you think the trainee is not developing appropriate for the stage of training. You'll notice that there's a box concerning certification requirements. These haven't been fully populated for the demo version. All the certification requirements for CCT will be listed in the appropriate boxes for the next update of the MCR. When you've completed feedback for any relevant GCP, select Save and Continue at the bottom of the screen and go to the CIP section. If you haven't already watched the video on introducing capabilities in practice, please go and watch that now. On the second page of the MCR report, there are capabilities in practice. Five of these are shared between all surgical specialties. Some specialties will have specialty specific capabilities in practice, but these have not been included in the demo version. Select a supervision level for each CIP. 
Level four is that level expected of a day one consultant. Level five is when a trainee performs beyond the level expected of a day one consultant. Select the level you think appropriate and either click on the X or click over to the side to return to the main form. Complete these for each of the CIP areas. If you recommend the CIP level of three or lower, then feedback is required. Like the GPCs, it's possible to add free text or select descriptors from the descriptors box. You can select areas for development in the next three to six months of training. You can also highlight areas where the trainee is performing beyond the level expected for that stage of training. You're limited to a maximum of five of these items per CIP. The areas that you've highlighted are added to the form. Complete supervision levels for each of the areas and give appropriate and accurate feedback. Again, the certification requirements have not been included for the demo version. It's possible to navigate back to the GPCs by selecting Back to Edit GPCs button. Once you've finished adding supervision levels and feedback to each CIP, then select Save and Finish. The final page of the MCR is a summary report of all feedback given in relation to each GPC and CIP. It's possible to print the completed MCR form using the green print button. It's recommended that you do this for your meeting with the trainee after the MCR meeting. If you're a trainee, it's recommended that you print this off to take along to that meeting. These documents will form the basis of the discussion about the MCR and will provide very specific and timely feedback and help you make a plan for the next three to six months of training. Once you've completed the MCR or trainee self-assessment demo, please complete the accompanying survey monkey and let us know what you think by clicking on short questionnaire. Thank you.